Today we are heading up to Summerland with a side stop at the District Wine Village in Oliver, BC. It's all part of a greater objective surrounding the annual Peachland Car Show. When I say a side stop in Oliver, that means we're adding an extra 45 minutes to the three and a half hour drive for the total of 360 kilometers. It's warm out, the cars are washed, tops are down, so let's go. If you're watching this video for information on the District Wine Village, then skip ahead to the 2 minutes 30 seconds mark for a rundown on it. For everyone else, enjoy the scenery. Today's meetup spot is Chilliwack. From there, we headed east towards Hope on the Trans-Canada Highway with the Fraser River flanking us on the left. The Crow's Nest Highway runs beside the Seamilkameen River and will take us to our lunch stop in Princeton. But before we get there, there's a great little detour at the Manning Park Resort that takes you up to the Cascade Lookout. Now we didn't do that today, but here's some older footage from the climb up. I couldn't find any view pictures that didn't have cars in it, so sorry about that. Back on Highway 3, the road has less double and passing lanes, which of course means that this is the fun part of the road. Unless of course, you're stuck behind a Winnebago. Regardless, the views are awesome, just don't look over the side. When the scenery starts changing a bit, then we know that the town of Princeton is coming up. And that means lunch. Our go-to lunch spot for years has been the Brown Bridge Pub. Decent food with decent prices. The more practical reason that we stop in Princeton is that back in the day, a lot of guys had older Corvettes which had notoriously small fuel tanks. Stopping here became a necessity. Over the years, our long distance cars are now newer models that are more than capable of getting to where we want to go with one tank of gas. So now, it's a stop to ease our hunger and bowels instead of fuel. Plus, there's a Dairy Queen in town too. The drive to Karameas is peaceful. Very scenic valley views, lots of fruit stands here with a cute town center. From here, this is our extra side stop cutoff for the detour south to Oliver. This was a difficult video to make because there's so much gorgeous scenery and I'm trying to find a balance between keeping it interesting versus making a quick video that just jumps between scenes. I'd love to hear your comments. And while you're there, why not subscribe? Turning right at a Soyuz takes you to the US border. Turning left leads to Oliver, with the wine village being 7 minutes north of town. The district opened in 2021 and has 16 producers, including wine, beer, distilleries, and food. It's really, really nice. Look at this. Couches you can hang out in and misting. It's like 93 degrees right now. This is really nice. I can feel that mist. Here, let's stand in the middle and let's do the wraparound. Make sure you ask for a taster. Some places will charge for it, some won't and some will knock it off the price if you buy something from them. That's where you went and get the beer. I'm going to buy some of that. That's a passion fruit one. The catch is that you have to drink it at their patio. If you want to drink in the center plaza, you have to buy it from the restaurant because it's a licensing issue. You know what? This looks like the top of the uh, Malahat walkway on Vancouver Island. Looks like a nest. Well, we are in a desert. <laughs> What did you end up getting? A little bit sour. Uh, that passion fruit one? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I had the passion fruit ale and I liked it so much. I bought six. Barrel. So I'm going to go to a, a spirits one. So I don't know if it's hard liquor or what they have. We will find out. So these guys have gin that they're making. And it's not quite ready. It's batch number three. In the meantime, they have these guys. Lime margarita. Yeah. Yeah. Iced tea, lemonade, and I just had the Dr. Cherry. They also have live music and events, so we're definitely coming back. Next up is a two minute drive to De Glass Distillery. Well, welcome, guys. Everybody been in before? First time? First time. First time. These are the sampler sizes. It's like, okay. And I'm not, I've never really had gin, so this is going to be interesting because I've never, never acquired, I should say never acquired the taste, I just haven't really. Dungeon. They make whiskey as well. Our final push of the day is to Summerlin for the night and then tomorrow morning we're heading out to Peachland for the show. Highway 97 is an extremely scenic route because we pass by three lakes. Good morning, it's going to be a little bit of a different video today. We are, well, we're in Peachland, so uh, not in Mexico or anything like that. And we're here for a car show. The whole idea of this video is to document a cruise up. If you don't know, I'm part of a car club, uh, Central Valley Corvettes out in Abbotsford. 
and we cruise up here with uh, was it eight cars and no I'm not gonna start switching the channel to do car shows I love cars it's a big part of my life but I am more focused on the travel end of it traveling the world and seeing different sites and part of it can be with a car you probably noticed that I had a car with me we did the Oregon coast and that was a lot of fun taking a convertible down there so uh, we'll be doing more trips like that with a car as well so I just want to kind of feature another part of my life what we do and corporate into the town.